This morning, the border is back in the headlines as many accuse President Joe Biden of igniting a new migrant crisis. And this morning, we want to hear from you. How do you think the government should handle migrants coming to the United States illegally? Text us your thoughts right now, 602-444-1212. That's the number to text. Now, the debate over the border, it was a hot topic during the election. And one of the first things President Biden addressed once he took office, soon after being sworn in, President Biden reversed a Trump-era policy that returned all single migrant children back to where they came from. Under the new policy, the kids who have family in the U.S. are allowed in the states and will be required to fill out an asylum application. Well, the amount of unaccompanied, mi unaccompanied minors has then since seen a huge influx since all that happened. FEMA just opened a new facility to help border agents. Right now, more than 15,000 unaccompanied minors are in the U.S. New data shows border agents are encountering close to 600 migrant children crossings on the border every single day on average. Governor Doug Ducey visited the border in Douglas last week, and he says President Biden is to blame for the situation. It's, it's a magnet to, to draw people across. The idea has always been around security. It's never been around sealing the border. It's been about around having public safety and also a focus on national security. President Biden says he isn't oblivious to what's happening. He says he's aware of what's going on at the border and he hopes to do more. Why do you think the message to the migrants telling them to stay home, to go come now, why do you think that hasn't resonated yet? What, what more can be done, sir? A lot more. We're in the process of doing it now, including making sure that we reestablish what existed before, which was they can stay in place and make their case from their home country. So the Biden administration does continue to argue there's been a rise in migrants trying to cross the border, but doesn't believe it's a crisis. Here's a look at the numbers right now. Southwest border apprehension soared to 100,000 last month alone. And for the first five months of the fiscal year, apprehensions near are total for all of last year. The Biden administration projects apprehensions this year could hit 20 year highs. And here in Arizona, the Border Patrol's Tucson sector has posted more than 200 percent increase in apprehensions. They're up almost more than 300 percent in the Yuma sector. So this morning we asked you to weigh in on the issue. What do you think can be done? What do you think should be done? Tell Ducey it's time to stop blaming the other party and work with them. The border governors should make all make a trip to the countries where these people are coming from. Now they should be housed on the Mexico side of the border. The parent or parents are watching their kids and will meet up with them, Linda said on Facebook. So keep letting us know how you feel about this issue. It's certainly an issue. Um, a lot of, uh, you know, highlighted here on the Arizona border for sure. Finding out how you feel about this. What do you think should be done? Send us a text 602-444-1212.